everyone, it's Julia, and welcome back to my channel. And welcome all my new subscribers. It's so exciting to see this sewing community grow. Um, everybody's so encouraging, and, and just thank you so much. And I hope that you enjoy creating as much as I do. In last week's video or project, I showed how to take a snippet roll and use parts of it to embellish and create a journal. There's so many wonderful things that you can do with a snippet roll and I was the luckiest one to be able to have this gifted to me. Um, she gifted me a, a couple, three different snippet rolls and her name is Nalusha. She has a wonderful Etsy store where she sells her snippet rolls and also Instagram account and she's just a textile artist that does such wonderful work. I'm going to li link all her links down below so you can check it out your, for yourself. Now last week, like I said, we did a journal and this week I wanted to share a really easy um, textile pendant that I create. And, and I do sell these um, both in my Etsy shop and also in my um, little summer shop that I have. I have a little summer shop in with a flea market. They're very simple to make and we are gonna be creating one today. Um, I usually back them either on a felt that doesn't fray or also, or also I also use um, cork um, I'll show you my my cork is wonderful too and it, it, it is not the craft cork it is the fabric cork that has the knit trico back um, but yeah they're, they're wonderful base for these little textile creations one of the ways that I sell these or the only way I sell these is I do add them to a card they have a little pin on the top and then um, they make a wonderful gift giving idea because not only can you write a personal me message in there but they also have a piece of um, textile art that they can wear also so it's a gift that just keeps on giving um, two okay they all come with I do put a little pin on there they're really cute on like a jean jacket lapel that's where I or a bag or a tote that's where I normally you know put put them but you can also take that pin out and stick in like a ball chain so they can be worn as a pendant or, or a necklace as well so I hope you enjoy this um, video we're going to create one they go together really quickly let's get started I'm cutting approximately an inch and a quarter off of the snippet roll now these snippet rolls that Nalusha makes ha are packed with really interesting threads and so I know I'm, I'm going to be able to create off that center part. I'm just kind of um, just seeing which background I want. And I did decide to go with the cork. Just laying it on there. I will be cutting this cork now. And I do leave approximately a quarter of an inch all the way around. I do like the border um, of the backing. A wonderful thing about the cork is that, again it doesn't fray um, but felt also works really well now I'm wanting to figure out what I want for the loop um, this this is like a, a twill tape or like a, a trim that looks like a measuring tape again I'll link that down below this is wonderful to to um, just create with and it makes a wonderful loop for the top or this trim or any kind of lace works as well you can just anything that you can stick that safety pin in i have decided on this one that i'm going to be using a piece of silk ribbon and i have all my little silk ribbons here in this bag and i'm just digging through to see which one i like as far as colors and decided on this it's kind of an olive green color but there's a little bit of that in in the textile collage and it also has some gold threads on it that um, really will bring out some of the gold threads again on this snippet roll. Just forming that loop on the top and then I like those tails to hang off the bottom. This will be just creating a sandwich here. Just getting everything all lined up. Again, forming that loop on the top and the tails at the bottom. And I'm sticking a couple clips in here just to hold it into place until I get to my sewing machine. I will be stitching this now all the way around using a, just my regular sewing machine. 
regular foot and a, and a zigzag stitch. My zigzag stitch that I'm using is a three for the width, so it's quite narrow, and approximately two and a half in the length. And just closing everything up, getting that ribbon in the center there. And there we go. Told you this is an easy, quick one. I like to add words to my projects. Um, this is the word, I think it says hope. Yeah, hope. Um, I have a bunch of words that I've just printed off on fabric. This is like a, a muslin fabric that I'm using. And I do have a uh, heat and bond that I put on the back so it's easy to work with. Um, and then I just, just figuring out which button that I want right in the center there. And I think, yeah, I think I decided on this one. So this is going back to my sewing machine and I'm gonna sew that around that word hope and then also hand stitch that button on. That button has a shank on it so I will be hand stitching that into place. And here we go. It's all finished. Just going to add that little pin to the top, little safety pin. I wanted to share how I'm adding a little bit of color and interest to the front of this card and this envelope. I have my Distress ink and I decided on a green colored. A stencil, any stencil would work for this. I am using a makeup brush to get that ink into my stencil. I find that these makeup brushes just work really well for this and an inexpensive way to do it. I am not covering my whole card. I'm just putting just little pieces in the corners and I'm going to add a, a little bit to the corner of this en of the envelope as well. Placing that pendant on there just to see, and I've decided I'm just wanting some of that ink to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to add a little bit more to it to the upper right hand corner. I want to add a couple. Um, just a couple holes to the top to put my pin in. Just adding some marks where I want to put where I, where I want those holes to be punched. And now I'm punching my holes. I'm off camera here, but I just have a regular punch and just pu punching a couple little holes. And now it's to just to get that safety pin. You want your safety pin to be upside down, so I am changing that. And then we'll stick this safety pin through these holes and clip it. And now it's all ready. I will stick this in a cellophane little baggie. And there it is. I hope you enjoyed this, everybody. I know it was a quick way um, just to, to, to make a little textile pendant. These textile um, collages are so fun and they're so packed full of, of just threads and little bits of fabric. Can you show you some more ideas here? I hope you all have, have, have a great week. I hope you have a chance to create. Bye for now.